We're going to discuss a couple things that's happening in MTT 249, Introduction to CAM. We're now working on Module 1 under Plasma CAM. And I'm going to briefly show you a couple things uh, that we can do with the Plasma CAM. First thing on the machine, we have our settings. This is how we adjust all of our machine settings. But right now, we're just going to be concentrating on design. Uh, if you come up and the screen has little blue dots all over it like this has now. You can get rid of them or if you just like it, you can keep them. Each one of these dots right now are set at one inch apart in the vertical and one inch apart in the horizontal direction. Personally, I don't like working with them. They can seem to get in my way. So I'm going to turn them off. If you want to keep them on, you're welcome to keep them on. There. Now I have a black screen. First thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a rectangle. Go on to our draw feature. Click on Rectangle, left mouse click one time and pull out to any size that you want and click it. Now to size it, we can use some hotkeys under View. We have Zoom In and all that stuff, but right now I want to size it. So under Edit, I can hit Scale or just hit S on the keyboard. From this, from the left side to the right, I'm going to type in uh, 6.0. Enter that. Now, on also under our hotkeys under View, I can hit Zoom Selected, which happens to be that green one. Anything green is active. We've already established six inches this direction. Now, if I want to find the height of it, I go scale height or hit H from the bottom up to the top. Grab that, and I'm going to say I want it to be 2.5. Notice in the bottom right here is where it gives all my information. So since I've already entered 2.5, just hit Enter. And now I have a perfectly 6 by 2.5 inch rectangle. If I want to put radiuses in here or a fillet, if I go to Draw, Fillet, it says first point of fillet radius or type the radius. I'm just going to type in 0.5 and hit Enter. That says to pick the corner, I want to fill it. I just wanted to pick these two top ones, for example, and leave the bottom ones there. That's, that would be fine. Or if I wanted to click those and make the whole thing concentric, then there you go. Notice I have a, um, I'm still active right now, so if I hit right mouse, I get my pointer back. And I'm going to hit F5 on the keyboard. And what that does is it tells us that we just zoom to the whole table. This happens to be a four foot by four foot table that we will be working on. Plasma Cam, we can design things in it to work on a plasma machine, or I can export a lot of these drawings and put them into uh, a CNC machine or a laser machine or what have you. And uh, it could design the part that way. It could machine the part that way as well. Now, let's go ahead and draw a couple more geometric shapes. Circle, for example. I could just go ahead and notice in the bottom left corner, right here it says point on circle or type the diameter. All I have to do now is just type in, uh, if I want it to be 3 inches, 3.0, enter. There's a 3 inch diameter circle. Or I could have did it just the way I did a while ago, measure from the left side across and under scale, and it would measure that for me as well. A um, couple more things before we quit this video that I'd like to show you is um, trim and extend. Under edit, we have trim and extend. Notice all of these right here is what they call hotkeys. Uh, if I want to rotate a part, for example, I'm going to highlight that. And rotate happens to be R, so I click R on the keyboard or either come to edit. If I click one time, notice I can roll it around however I want to. And I could even type in an angle. Notice the bottom left corner says or type new angle. If I type in 45 and hit enter, it's a 45 degree angle. Okay. I'm going to go to edit and hit undo. And let's go ahead and draw something that way we can go ahead and cover the trim and extend feature. If I were to draw something similar to this, 
Notice how the lines are broken. I try to get them as straight as I can. And there's another feature that we can I can show you in a little bit on how to do that too. Alright, I'm going to hit F1 on my keyboard and I'm going to zoom into this certain point. Now we have a gap between here. And now what I tell you a while ago under edit for trim and extend, T does both things. I can extend from this point to here and then once I do that, if I click here, I'm going to trim that line off. So I'm going to click on that, extend to there and trim off that. Right mouse and I hit K for link segments, it turns it purple. That lets me know that everything is connected. If it were not connected, it would be white. Okay. Everything that we deal with, whether it be on a plasma machine or a CNC machine, it has to be connected. Otherwise, the geometry will not be able to, it will not be able to follow a tool path. All right, that's pretty much it for right now. Uh, we have other hotkeys under like under draw, L for line, rectangles, G. Um, I, I would have had R, but uh, you got to have something for, for rotate. Circle is Q, arc is A. I normally don't use these two. The, the ones I normally use is line for L and B for bulge. Let me explain bulge for just a second. If I were to hit U on the keyboard, click one time and bring this out to here, I can kind of bulge it out to a, an, an arc or whatever I want to do. Okay, There's a lot more features and we'll have more videos um, coming up in this same module. Thanks for watching.